how I got myself $23,000 into credit card debt. 23,000. a guy. Multiple credit cards, a car loan, a personal loan for a surgery that I had. Stressed out about it and frustrated and... And I am currently still $40,000 in debt. $40,000. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Gets It Out. Let's get right to it. Now today, I have a video from AJ's Rants and Reactions, and this video is titled, Modern Woman Are Broke AF. So guys, without further ado, let's get right into it. Hey guys, AJ here back with another one for you. So we all know these modern women are broke AF, right? <laughs> Guys, they have credit card debt, student loan debt, right? They have mortgages, high high interest mortgages with these homes and townhomes and condos that they bought during the cough cough, right? That they can't stand. <laughs> and then they go on the dumpster fire known as, as TikTok and whine and moan and blame their debt on the patriarchy, clown world. <laughs> Guys, I have a whole playlist dedicated to this, so please check out the playlist li list to the at the end of this video and we're going to get into some some more knuckleheads on tiktok but before we do that guys like subscribe drop a comment because it really helps keep this channel going check out my second channel link in the description guys and guys don't ever ever help these modern women pay their their debt because all of them even though they're all on this I am woman anymore, and I'm stupid to ignore. they are looking for some scent some moron to swoop in here i come to save the day and pay off their debts don't don't do it guys let's get into this how i got myself twenty three thousand dollars into credit card debt. twenty three thousand a guy when i was around 12 or 13 and i dated him throughout middle school high school and into my early 20s i'm not going to get into the super de juicy details of this relationship please don't just know that it was mentally physically emotionally abusive please i am so so grateful to be out of that relationship now but i did make some bad financial decisions whenever i broke that relationship off three years ago when i was in that relationship i was controlled a lot and i wasn't able to hang out with my friends i wasn't able to travel i wasn't really able to do anything and uh that kind of lead led into my spending problem whenever i left that relationship Look at that. So, guys, none of the spending happened when she was in that relationship. <laughs> so why did she even bring it up? I, I told you guys, no accountability at all. Well, I had this relationship, and then I spent all my money afterwards, but I want to try and blame it on anything other than myself. Look at that. So I broke it off. I started doing solo trips out the wazoo. Um, I was doing solo trip after solo trip. And I guess guys, this right here. I mean, you, how could you explain this? Right. You can't explain it exactly like AJ said. The reason why you didn't spend money is because you had a man who made a lot of sense. You know what happened? You probably didn't have the money. Hence, why you took out the credit card and went on a spending spree. You spent a bunch of money that you didn't have, so. But I didn't have any money. I was working as a teller in a bank. I still work in a bank, but I've I've since um, moved up positions. But I was working as a- now, now, bank teller, right? Come on, guys. What kind of job is that? That's around 20 bucks, maybe 25 bucks, 30 bucks an hour. Not a lot of money. Teller, so I wasn't making much. And so in turn, I was putting it all on my credit cards. There it because is. I wanted to have these experiences that I felt like I had lost out on. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. I pretty much did the same thing over and over and over and over again. I went on so many trips. I fell in love with national parks and hiking. And <laughs> eventually I found myself $23,000 into credit card debt. And now I'm on a mission to pay that off as quickly as I possibly can. I know what it feels like to feel like you're drowning. Now, I have a family member that got ahead of himself. He made a mistake. I always told him, leave the credit cards alone. He got good credit and then killed himself. He got a home, though, even though he sold it. But still, I don't want to get into that. But 
You don't have the money. Why are you checking out a credit card? Owning and your credit card debt, your minimum payments. And a lot of the times if you have high credit card debt, like I do, um, the interest rates are just eating up any monthly payments that you make. It sucks that I put myself in that situation. And if you're in that situation, all you can do is get yourself out. And if you only have one stream of income, like your full-time job, I highly recommend getting a second stream of income, yeah, which is what right. I did. The digital marketing is what I did. Um, there it is. Guys, this is something that you're going to see these 304s do a, do a lot. Digital marketing, affiliate marketing, all this stuff. that, that It's it's all, 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 all smoke and mirrors, all right? doesn't work and then these courses that you, you got to buy and then you got to pay money for those courses and guys there's nothing positive in this video advice wise right for my second stream of income and i am so happy i did i'll tell you one thing he's right about the courses uh when it comes like to affiliate marketing like i do a lot of affiliate marketing on youtube like for instance i have christian filipina i have him plugged into my youtube videos so it helps it brings some income but I know what he's saying. When women are taking, not even just women, anybody taking a bunch of courses, it does, it is smoke and mirrors. How I so guys, this is supposed to be like a, oh, don't do what I do, right? But guys, she didn't even take whole, take any kind of accountability or responsibility. She didn't say, you know what, guys, I goofed up in my 20s. She started out, out with, oh my God, my relationship was so terrible. It was a toxic man. Look at that. Look at that. Guys, are hashtags. Hashtag credit card debts. Hashtag multiple income streams. Hashtag how to make money online from your phone. Hashtag credit cards are evil. Hashtag debt free journey. Look at that, guys. Look at that. These chicks are broke, man. Don't pay their bills. Don't pay their bills. Clown work. Now, guys, I hate when people eat in their videos. Disgusting. <laughs> Why are you going to sit on the internet and be <laughs> in the middle of your video? Clown world. I'm in debt. Of course you are. You know what's funny, right? <laughs> and I get what he's saying. Her face is like swollen. And it's lumpy because she's old, but we clearly see why. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of debt. I have um, multiple credit cards, a car loan, a personal loan for a surgery that I had. And um, yeah, I'm stressed out about it and frustrated. And I thought I'm going to make... That's why she's eating, y'all. This TikTok channel to hold myself accountable. Please. So I'm <laughs> determined to get out of debt <clears throat> in a year. In a year. Okay. A hundred thousand dollars. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Pump the bridge. A hundred thousand dollars. Guys, she thinks she's gonna get out of debt. A hundred thousand dollars in a year. If if this chick honestly believes that, you've been had, you've been took, you've been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run on luck. Clown world. In a year, I made a pretty good income last year. I'm um, I'm in sales, so there's no telling what my income will be this year. But oh, stop. I'm just gonna come on here like every day and say something I did that day to get myself out of this hole that I dug for myself. If anybody sees it, cool. If nobody ever sees it, that's okay too. It's for me you to remind myself that I'm a f You know what's sad about the situation? I bet she has no man. And I'm not trying to say that men are the end all be all for women. But what happens when you have a man who's responsible that you may be going 50-50 with? You have someone to speak to, right? See, a lot of women don't realize how that 50-50 benefits them. Or they do, and I guess it benefits both parties, but not really, not the man, because the woman is too independent. But anyway, you guys get what I'm saying, right? If she had someone, 
she was going 50-50 with that could talk some, that can reason to her, talk some sense into her. She would be going through this, but she obviously doesn't because she's doing what? Eating while making videos. And this, this is a sad situation. Fucking bad and I can do it. Ah, please. I quit being a little about it. So, here you go. Take now, through all the chewing, guys, you might not have understood what she was saying. So, guys, let me just translate this for you. <laughs> hey, guys, guys, okay, her hashtags. You ready? You ready? Okay. Hashtag accountability. Hashtag debt. Hashtag debt free journey 2023. Hashtag 100K. Hashtag stress. Hashtag frustration. Hashtag hope. Hashtag frugal. Hashtag high earner. Hashtag high debt. Hashtag no shame. Hashtag honest. And here's the thing, guys. Okay. She said she was going to hold herself accountable and said she was going to get out of debt in a year. Do you guys think she actually did it? Because, guys, today is uh, March 16th, 2024. So she made a video, guys. This is from March 2023. So it's been a year. Do you guys think that she's got out of debt? Guys, let's just go and check. Let's. Uh, I usually don't do this, guys, but let's just go and check. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this, guys. This is March 2024. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Look at that. So I've been MIA for like a while. Um, and I hate that. Guys, <laughs> this, this is weird because it shows what the problem is. She doesn't hold herself accountable to anything. A whole year later, she says she was going to vlog every day. And then she gets on. First thing she says, I haven't been here in a while. I'm severely depressed. This is sad. It really is. Actually, as I'm getting hurt watching this. I don't feel bad for her. But, you know, me, myself, I, feel, I would feel like I, I need to do something about my situation. Because there's actually so many of you guys that are following along and encouraging my hair. Oh, my God. I've been... Um, like really depressed, like, like it's like it's bad. Um, I'm I'm getting help. Like I'm reaching out to my friends and my family and going to therapy and stuff. But it's not. I gotta say one thing. Remember, I, I talked about bankruptcy earlier. I didn't fully explain myself. She should go to. She should go into bankruptcy. It's not working. What are all these goofy um, tattoos? She has. I'm sleeping. I'm crying and I don't know it all it started with my trip to my mom's that was like the trigger and it normally uh my depressive episodes only last like a couple days but this one has been around for over a month now and it's really taking a toll on me guys even with the fact that this chick looks the way she looks, has these goofy tattoos, has all this debt, guys, you bet, you still bet that she, that she can still find find some, Man! you know what I'm saying, to help her pay her bills. Guys, don't do it. Don't ever pay a chick's bills. I have a huge update in the debt situation. Um, I had a, a, a rental property that I owed hardly nothing on. Um, it, it's not like I'm crazy expensive it's it's like a it's like a little town home anyway i did a cash out refi on it um and i only pulled enough to pay off all the consumer debt so technically i'm debt free now i <laughs> know you're not you oh look at that the, the equity from the house and paid off all the debt, but now I owe the same amount of money. It's just a different kind of debt. There you go. So I'm so was it was it robbing Peter to pay Paul? Right? Look at that. And she thinks that that's a solution. I'm consumer debt free, but I still have this mortgage that I didn't have before. 
but my tenant pays me rent and the rent covers the mortgage. So it's, I still look at it as I very much am still a hundred thousand dollars. Cause you are, um, cause you are my depression. has been so bad that my work is suffering and I'm not making the kind of money that I was making before. Of course not. And now she wants some simp guys, but she's not saying is that she wants some simp to here I come to save the day. Well, I get what AJ is saying, but she's saying that she wants someone literally because she's on TikTok, right? She stopped making videos. She said, okay, let me come around and put it right back on TikTok because you know what's going to happen? Right down in the comments, you're going to see a bunch of guys giving advice and maybe one or two guys may say, hey, I'll help you out. There's somebody out there. Actually, I, I don't know. I know what AJ is saying, but look at her. There's not going to be a bunch of guys lining up. I don't know. She has that look that I just wouldn't be turned on by. She's too old. If she was younger, maybe. Swoop in and pay her bills. So I'm not really sure what the hell I'm going to do. But that's where I've been. There it is, guys. And I'm sorry that I've been gone. And I, I miss the, the like happy me. That it was, but hopefully I'll be back to that soon because nobody wants to watch this. So um, uh, ain't that the truth, right? Right, guys. <laughs> a guy is still for hashtags. Hashtag hundred k. Hashtag debt free journey. Hashtag depression. Hashtag sad. Hashtag frustrated. Hashtag not sure what I'm doing. Hashtag health. Guys, look at that. Don't ever pay their bills, guys. And women never hold themselves accountable. Clown. Work thousand dollars in debt, and here's why. Jesus. Right, for those who don't know me, my name is Rachel Fumavera. I live in New York City, and I am a bartender here in Manhattan. And I am currently still forty thousand dollars in debt. Forty thousand dollars. <laughs> so this all started when COVID began, and I lost my job. I didn't have any income. I didn't know if I was ever going to have income again. And unemployment was not happening. It took me six weeks to get unemployment, which I know isn't that bad to compare to others who took months but for me like i was just so stressed out i couldn't make my car payment i couldn't make my credit card payment i was very very stressed and thinking oh my gosh i don't ever want to feel this way again i need to learn how to make money for myself and not have to depend on a boss or other people oh that's so that's when i try to fill them oh, okay here we go here we go whoa I don't want to have to depend on everyone again because I'm broke. So I'm going to start a business knowing nothing about business. Okay. <laughs> An affiliate mar mar marketing. Here we go. Affiliate marketing. And I bought a $5,000 course. $5,000? And tried it for a couple of days, 10 days, 20 days. And I just. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. She said she tried it for 10 to 20 days and didn't make money. Why did she spend 5000 That was money she had for other things. Get into something where you're not delving out a bunch of money. Common sense. Just didn't make any money. Then I thought maybe this isn't for me. So I tried a $12,000 course for sales calls. Well. I could just earn commissions by being on the phone. $1,000. Guys, these are all these get rich quick schemes and all this stuff that these multi-level things and all these things that these these women get sold now on Instagram. Twelve thousand dollars. Oh, and then do it at my own time every week and just get these high ticket closing jobs and be able to persuade people to buy whatever it is I was selling and but no, it never happened. So fast forward to 2021 when me and my roommate decided to move to the city. And, you know, everything was great. I got a job right away. Huh, wait, now, all this is happening, all of this debt. Why is she moving to the city? Guys, I got to tell you something, right? I have to tell you. I lived in New York. And you can live in certain parts of New York, three hours away from the city. That's so much cheaper, right? But she needs to be where the jobs are. But you can still work online. She never looked into working online. I'll tell you this, right? Back in like around 2012, 13, around half of the people were working online. So now it has to be more. I'm, I, I know not everybody is going to work online, but still, she had no idea, no clue. And also, guys, the difference in pay between being in a city and three hours away is from like $500, $600 at that time up to like two to 3000 Night and day is just bananas. 
Uh, COVID was still a thing, but people were going out to eat. I was making good money. And I was think, and I was like, okay, let me try another course. I, I think it was like done for you. I think, I don't know, digital products. I have no idea. I don't remember. There you go again. So many. And I think I tried a couple of other affiliate marketing. I've tried clicking and oh my gosh, I I spent so much money on my credit cards on all these courses. (laughs) So now fast forward to beginning of 2023 and I'm realizing, oh my gosh, I am going to get a real job and I can't keep up with these payments and I am financially stressed. I started to go into a big depression and I had a really hard couple months just crying all the time, you know, having negative thoughts, having really deep, bad thoughts. Then I found my way into these manifesting courses and <laughs> started learning about affirmations, started learning about mindset. And so from aff- affiliate marketing to manifestation. Guys, what's, what's wrong with her? She's a compulsive buyer. And I bet you this whole time she has had no man. I didn't hear her one time say, my boyfriend told me to stop it. Was she by herself the whole time or she just wasn't telling anybody anything? I, I want to hear that come in. Or it says, look at this. <laughs> listening to these podcasts about mindset and just listening to all these gurus and being a better person, being a kinder person, a more compassionate person and learning about law of attraction. See, the thing is, guys, you can listen to these things, right? But you don't have to buy anything. You can listen to these things free on YouTube. I've done it myself. But you know what I never did? Click, 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 buy. There we go. And it got me really going and it got me to feel better. And it made me realize, okay, now that I have the mindset, now that I'm meditating, now that I feel better about myself and I know I can do it if I just believe in myself, I will try one more course. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> Guys, that's just the thing right there. I'm going to try one more course, one more course for stuff that didn't work. That put me in debt. And guys, these chicks, they are they want to be all these all these strong and independent. I am woman anymore, and, I'm to and then they get out there and they're trying to make their, their life work, right? They're like, I'm going to take the wheel. It's going to be awesome, right? And what do they, they do, guys? run their car they run their life straight into a ditch look at that guys are hashtags. hashtag credit card denied hashtag debt update hashtag help me i'm in so much debt hashtag my debt story of course and that was a eight thousand dollars eight thousand dollars so this course was a 10-week course that promised ten thousand a month after you're done with the course and i guys man you have to be careful right See, a lot of these courses are too much money. They're too much, right? I had a course. I have a course now. It's not down ten thousand dollars. I keep it around a hundred, cause I, you know, and it's something I take part in helping people with. Most of these things are scams, and she fell for it. And I don't feel bad. She she has to stop being a compulsive buyer. She needs like the other woman, right? She had a man. She was with her man once she left him. Her spinning got out of control. Men are the great equalizer. And it sounds like she doesn't have one. Believed it because I believed in myself. And unfortunately, it didn't work. Of course not. Who who saw that coming? Right, guys? Guys, as a man, guys, put in the comments, would you ever believe a chorus that said you were guaranteed to make $10,000 a month after you get out of this, this course? Please. So it starts not working. I'm having trouble at work. I'm, you know, I'm losing my will to live at this point. I just don't know what else I can do. You can I get just a job. Believing I'm just one of those people that just can't make money. Get a real job. That will never have the life of my dreams. So now I came across these TikToks on TikTok about making money online, how easy it is. And More bullshit. And stuff. So I did a couple of things for research. And now this is going to be my, this TikTok account is going to be my journey. And how hold me accountable to make money online. Guys, you know what I think is happening? I think she's not putting in the full effort, right? I was one that was big on making money online, but it was going many different avenues where I don't have to spend money. Why 
is she spending all of this money? Guys, this is why I went into YouTube and I actually started many different YouTube channels, right? And then I've been doing this for years and, and boom, now it's hitting. But it's something I had to put work into. Just like AJ's channel. This is a, a, a stream of income. And, and create different streams that make sense. Not these, you're going to make 10000 by next month. That's not true. You may make 200 by next month. Be honest. And that's, 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 that's on the program too. But still, she shouldn't be that ridiculous. She's expecting all of this money. And it's something that you have to put work into for a long time. And maybe in two years, you put in enough work, you'll you be at the point where you make 10000 And also, in the meantime, I'm going to be serving and bartending to pay off the debt. So she's done the same thing. Follow me to watch my journey. Please no. Guys, she's done the same thing over and over and over again. I'm going to do a course. <laughs> I'm going to pay a bunch of money. I'm going to do a course again. Pay a bunch of money. Didn't work. Didn't work. Didn't work. Do it again. Now she's relying on TikTok. This nut, knucklehead has done everything except get a real job. And this is the issue with these women. They'll do everything except hold themselves account accountable, get a real job, work like just like us men, and try to do these get-rich-quick schemes and all this other stuff. And if you tell them, hey, I don't think this is going to work, what do they, they say, guys? How dare you? <laughs> and guys, all we can do is point and laugh because they asked for this guys they asked to be able to go out and try and make money and do all all the same stuff that us uh, us guys do except they get emo emotional and they keep trying the same things over and over and over and over and over again and it crashes and burns and you know what they find out guys the night is dark and full of terrors <laughs> all right you guys this is aj i pre pre Appreciate you guys like subscribe yeah guys that was from aj's rants and reactions and it's true everything he showed it was funny as hell too right but everything he showed it's not just what modern women do right it's what people in general do i know men that have done this and you know what it is everyone wants to find a way out of debt everyone wants to find a way to freedom and you know what i realized because i found somewhat of a way it takes hard work you have to get up every day and probably put in 12 13 14 hours 15 hours of work and the only time you're not working is when you're sleeping and guys there's no shortcuts that's what it takes to be successful but yeah yeah i want to thank y'all for watching also thanks a lot to aj's reaction that was a great reaction video and yeah guys see you next time thanks for watching get it out peace Maybe you give me ice and fire You're giving me